Hi, I have another story to tell you from Bedtime Adventures, Fluffy and His Friends. And this one is called Oscar in the Shepherd's Garden. Now, I know you're not going to believe this, but Oscar got in trouble again. And you know what he did? He went away again without telling anybody where he's going. And what he did was he went and he crawled under the fence when nobody was looking. And he went around the hill to the shepherd's garden. Now, the shepherd had a big, beautiful flower garden. And it was full of all kinds of flowers. There were red ones and orange ones and yellow ones and green ones and blue ones and pink ones. Oh, it was the prettiest flower garden in the world. And you know what the shepherd would do? When the children would come home from school, the shepherd would let the children into his garden so they could pick flowers for their mommies. And it was very, very nice. But the shepherd never let any of the lambs in his flower garden. You know why? Is because, first of all, they would eat all the flowers. And secondly, the pasture had flowers and it was full of cool, green, juicy grass. And the lambs were always satisfied with that. Except Oscar. So, Oscar went out and he crawled under the fence when nobody was looking. And, and he didn't tell anybody where he was going because he couldn't tell anybody where he was going because he was going to a place where he shouldn't be. So he went to the shepherd's garden and he crawled under the fence there and he enjoyed himself. He ate flowers and he ate and ate and ate and ate until his tummy got big and it almost started to drag underground. And then he decided, oh, I better go back. And so he went back and he had to crawl under the fence at the shepherd's garden. And you know what? He almost didn't make it through there because his belly was so big. And then he ran across the hill and he looked like a big old water balloon full of, of flowers. And then he went and he crawled under that fence and he's scraping his tummy under that fence too. And he got back and he thought, na, 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 nobody saw me. He was a very naughty lamb for doing that. Well, the next day, the shepherd came to the the pasture and he called all the the, the the lambs together and he says, I have some really bad news. He said, somebody got into my, my garden and you know, I have a garden of special flowers that I have for the children so when they come home from school, they can pick flowers for their mommies and everything. And he said, somebody was in my garden and ate a bunch of my flowers and I know it was a lamb because I saw the tracks. He said, was it any of you? And the papa lamb said, no, it wasn't me. And the mama lamb said, no, it wasn't me. And Fluffy said, no, it wasn't me. And Brownie said, no, it wasn't me. But Brownie lied. The next day, what do you think Brownie did? He went out again and he crawled under the fence and he ran around the hill and he got under the fence of the shepherd's garden and he started eating flowers again. And of course, he didn't tell anybody where he was going because he couldn't tell anybody where he was going because he was going to a place where he shouldn't be. So he was eating flowers. And suddenly he smelled something. Hmm, he said, that smells big. Hmm, it smells kind of brown. It smells just like a... Oh, there couldn't be a bear in the shepherd's garden. But then he looked around and he heard, Rawr! How did a bear get in the shepherd's garden? I don't know either, but he was there. And not only that, there was nobody there to help Oscar because he didn't tell anybody where he was going, that naughty little lamb. And that bear came closer and closer and closer. And he opened up his big biting mouth with his teeth and he went Rrrr! And Oscar cried out, he went bah! 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 But nobody came because he'd been such a naughty little lamb. And that bear came and he was standing right above him and he opened his big mouth with his huge bitey teeth and he went Rrrr! And suddenly 
the shepherd came in and he saw the bear and he hit the bear and he hit the bear and he hit the bear and the bear went and he hit the bear and he hit the bear and he hit the bear and the bear ran away. And then the shepherd took Oscar and he put him on his lap and he gave Oscar a royal Hawaiian bum thumping. And he said, Oscar, you naughty little lamb. This is the second time you've gone someplace and you could have gotten hurt because there was nobody here to help you. And not only that, you know I don't let any of the lambs into my garden because these, these flowers are for the children and everything. And you, not only that, you lied to me yesterday, didn't you? And asking, and the shepherd said, I forgive you, Oscar, but you still have to talk to your daddy. So he took Oscar back. And of course, everybody was happy that Oscar didn't get eaten by a bear again. And the daddy took Oscar in, and he hugged Oscar, and he loved Oscar, and then he put Oscar over his knee and gave Oscar another Royal Hawaiian bum thumping. Now, I am happy to report that Oscar never did anything silly like that again. And you know, when people around us tell us and they warn us and they say, don't go out in the street or don't do this or don't do that, it's because they love us. It's not because they're trying to hurt us. And sometimes out of love, they have to not only hug us and love us up, but they have to give us a Royal Hawaiian bum thumping one time or another. And that's just for our good. And you know what? Oscar learned the lesson and he never went away again without telling anybody where he's going. And, he, and if he was told not to go to a certain place, he just didn't go there. Good lessons for us all. And you know what? In the Bible, Jesus says that he loves us. Now, Jesus doesn't exactly give us a royal Hawaiian bum thumpments, but he does say no to us because he loves us. And he wants to keep us out of danger.